injury going uh, as, as far as the process and recovery? Uh, it's great. Um, yeah, the, the rehab was uh, it, it was kind of long and tedious, but I'm, I'm back. I'm training 100 percent and I feel good. When were you able to start going 100 um, percent? You know, it was kind of a gradual thing, you know, easing back into it. Um, I've probably been going about 100 percent you know, as far as sparring and everything, maybe for uh, maybe six weeks or so. What's the toughest thing in recovery? Is it is it the mental anguish of not being able to fight or really just going through the physical recovery? Um, I, for me, it was staying focused on you know on, on the matter at hand, you know, and not not looking at the bigger picture. You know, if I if I looked at the mountain I had to climb, you know, it, it was overwhelming. So um, just focusing on the day to day things um, was really what I had to keep my mind on. What do you think about the landscape of the division right now with Robbie Lawler uh, holding the crown? Um, you know, it's it's exciting. You know, it. I think you know, there's so many guys uh, that are. I don't know that, that, are, that look so good. I think that the, the belt might change hands, you know, quite a bit in the next, you know, maybe you know year or so. So, um, yeah, I don't know. I'm excited to get, get back. And watch the contenders fight. Is there anyone who's really stood out to you over the last sort of year? Um, Rory. Rory looks really good. You know, his, his last fights have been, you know, pretty much flawless. So. You said you have a date in mind. Do you have an ideal opponent in mind as well? I don't. I don't. There's a lot of intriguing match out matchups out there for me. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll just like like I told Karen, uh, you know, we'll just have to see how these these fights in the next couple months play out, and um, and then probably have a better idea. Carlos, how difficult was it for you to sit on the sidelines, have to watch everything that was going on with the title changing hands? I know you felt like you could have been in there. Uh, well, I didn't really have a choice, um, so I kind of just s took a step back, watched, you know, as, as a spectator, as a fan, and uh, you know, focused on what I needed to, to get done, which was you know, get my rehab. Um, taken care of and uh, you know and take care of my, my own thing. You is there any pros is like to recharge your battery to sit on the sidelines for a little while? Is there any pros to sitting back and watching a little bit? Yeah, no, nah, I, I think I made the best of best of my time off. Um, I got a chance to you know work on the things that I needed to work on without uh, focusing on a specific opponent. Um, yeah, it was you know it, it wasn't all bad. Is it a different different to you now though when you're gonna fight uh, as opposed to before because it and see how things can change so quickly. Do you, you're hungrier now, or how has it changed you uh, emotionally as a fighter? Um, I'm definitely hungry. You know, I've been out for, for a year, and, and prior to that, I've been really, really busy. Um, I did you know, a, you know, a bunch of fights you know, in a row, back to back training camps, um, and now not having that on my plate, I'm, I'm, I'm yeah, I'm, I'm hungry. I'm chomping at the bit to uh, to get back in there, you know, get back in the mix of the welterweight division. So when we're here for a Nick Diaz fight, which uh, you had a very classic fight with him. What are your memories of that? It's something that stands out to fans so much. That whole that whole you know talking, the leading up to it, the fight itself. What what was that like for you? Um, well, before the fight, there was a lot of change-ups. I was supposed to fight. He was supposed to fight GSP, and then I was supposed to fight GSP, and then GSP got hurt. And then, you know, he, there's just, and, and I was getting calls on the regular from my manager, hey, you have this other fight, you're fighting this guy instead of this guy instead of this guy, and they're all huge fights, and it was kind of a, you know, an emotional roller coaster. Um, and, you know, and, and training, training for him was, it was interesting, you know, we had to kind of change up, w you know, what I do, because he's such a, you know, difficult style to train for. Um, but you know, I felt I felt good when I went in there, and I felt like I executed my game plan um, well. And you know, I didn't get the finish like I would have liked, but you know, it went it went my way. And afterwards, there was a lot of controversy. Yes. But um, you know, that's the fight game. How do you think he'll do against Anderson? Um, I think if Anderson is if Anderson doesn't play like he does at times. Um, I don't think he should have a problem. I mean, his, his movement and his, his striking, uh, especially his, his angles and, and stuff, is, is something that Nick Diaz really has a, has a problem with, as you saw in, in our fight. Um, but um, you know, but I, I don't count Diaz out, though. I think, I think he could give anybody problems. I mean, he's, he's a phenomenal fighter. And, you know, and like I said, he's, he's a tough guy to fight. You know, he's just, he just comes forward nonstop, you know, takes punches to you know, take, take 10 to give you one. And, uh, you know, that's, that's different. He's just a different guy. You lost to Woodley. It wasn't like a clear-cut knockout or anything like that. It was an injury because of your knee. It was, how bitter was that, you know, losing in that way and knowing that, you know, you wanted to keep on going? Um, it sucked. Um, I, called, I called Dana, like, the next morning and told him I wanted a rematch. Um, you know, but it, it's, it's, 
this is a combat sport. In any sport, you get you get injuries. But I mean, the the longer you do this thing, you're you're bound to get um, you know so some type of injury. And you know, I'm I'm thankful for thankful that it happened you know 12 years into my career instead of you know early on. I've had you know I had a great surgeon, you know great great physical therapy. You know, I'm 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 going to be back, and hopefully I'll be getting that that rematch against Woodley, and we'll be able to settle the score. Very big turnout. People love you there, and they just announced the card in Manila. Is this your uh, your little you know subtle note to say you want to fight on that card? No, I just thought it matched my outfit, man. Yeah. <laughs> you, were, you, were, you were very popular there, right? Uh, yeah, you know there was yeah, great, great turnout um, at our event. We had you know, yeah, the, the people were awesome. Um, I don't know about fighting there. If they asked me to, um, I guess that that's close enough to when I'm trying to come back. I yeah, I, I would probably I would entertain the idea. Um, I'd like to fight closer to home. Okay. Try and get on the card here in Vegas. I know you just showed up. I don't know where you've been. Mm-hmm. Um, but um, I'm trying. Yeah, I'm trying to fight 20. Or I'm trying to get on the card May 23rd here. Um, if that comes up, if there's a, a you know a, a, an opponent, I we'll look. We'll see. You talked about the sort of logjam of talent at the top of the division. Do you remember there being a time in the welterweight division where there was this sort of depth of high-end talent? No. I don't. I don't think so. I mean, everybody looks looks so so good right now. Um, so no, I, I really can't remember a time that it was like this. You have a lot of really passionate fans. I saw an interview with you once where uh, the guy doing the interview he was almost blushing uh, because he was I don't know it was almost like a man or something. What is it? What's it like for you to have so many fans that are that really see you in such a high light? Um, you know, it's it's humbling. You know, I I'm doing what I what I like to do. You know, I'm I'm you know following my dreams and, and people enjoy watching me and I you know I can entertain I can inspire people and um, you know it's just just cool you know I'm just a regular dude and I like to fight and people people dig it and you know, it's, I don't know it's, it's a cool thing you mentioned Rory McDonald is somebody who's impressed you since you fought him how much do you think he's improved and, and where do you think he's improved most at um, when I fought him he was he was already really really good I mean he was super super, super polished um, but he was he was young, and you know I think I had the, ex- the edge and experience over him. Um, yeah, I think he's 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 improved. Like I don't his his skills have improved, but I think the you know the strategy that he brings to to the fights and his poise have improved uh, more so. In the downtime, did you find any new hobbies? Get into scrapbooking or anything? What'd you do with yourself while you couldn't fight? Um, the last over the last couple of years, I've uh, I've been I started bow hunting. And I did a did a hunt this last this last year. Um, well, yeah, it was kind of I was in in rehab for my knee, and I was almost training for that because that was you know that was a you know kind of a physically grueling thing that I had to do. But that, that's one thing I'm getting into. What what do you hunt? Uh, we went. I hunted elk this last year. Where? Really? Uh, in Gila, south southwest New Mexico. How'd you do? Uh, we'll just say he. I let him grow a little bit for next year. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> So there's a lot to learn. If we look at your division, uh, you know, Robbie Lawler sits upon the, the throne, but not everyone agreed with the decision uh, that got him there. How did you feel about that fight, and who do you have picked as a winner? Um, I I actually agreed with the de- decision. Um, it was, yeah, it was razor thin, but, you know, uh, Lawler, or not Lawler, I'm sorry, um, Hendricks kind of kind of gassed in those last last couple rounds and, um, you know, basically let let. Robbie Lawler run run away with the title. 